Hello, welcome to the video series. Uh, previous video we have set up the RDS. In this video, we're gonna see uh, how we're going to implement our IMDB authentication uh, in Postgres uh, using Postgres within the RDS. Uh, so this is my uh, this is the RDS which I have launched in my previous video. So now I'm gonna connect. I need to connect to uh, connect to the uh, uh, IMDB. Uh, for this, I already uh, have uh, Postgres uh, PG4 installed. Uh, also, you can you can use uh, any of the other uh, CLI tool. I'm gonna use the PG4 admin. Uh, I'm gonna create a server. Here, I'm giving the name of the server. IMDB. This is just a friendly name. And in the connection tab, I'm gonna use the Postgres, and the password should be like uh, I guess uh, my default password. Uh, so I'm gonna connect. So hoping it will connect soon. Once it is connect, now we can I start our configuration. Uh, so it seems like uh, our IMDB uh, database has been con uh, connected. Uh, next thing we need to create a database user, which we can allow, uh, like uh, which we, we can use to to create uh, IM policies. First of all, we need to like uh, create a login user. In our case, uh, we are just giving it the name as IMDB. And actually, uh, while uh, creating the IMDB authentication, uh, we must need to enable uh, the IMDB uh, settings in the database. So, to this, go to the uh, go to your uh, RDS admin, RDS console, then select your database, and then click on the modify. And in the modify section, what you need to do is uh, you need to do some basic steps. Uh, like you need to enable the IMDB authentication in you, within your RDS. So I scroll down till uh, uh, we need to see the uh, we, like uh, we need to enable this option, and that's it. We need to click on the continue and click on the apply immediately. So anything we we, we were doing it will apply automatically uh, uh, apply immediately. So uh, uh, in a while it will uh, it will create. Uh, or enable the IMDB authentication plugin. Meanwhile, we need to create uh, some role. The next step, we need to create a IM role. Like uh, in in this, uh, we need to, we need to create IM role to access. So for this, uh, we're gonna create IM role. So click on the create role. Uh, on uh, and now we need to choose EC2 instances. Uh, so uh, from EC2 instances, we need to, we can trigger. Uh, click on the next permission. Here we need to specify some uh, permissions to that particular user. So here we are going to uh, we are looking uh, we are seeking for the permission RDS. So we just click on RDS full access for now. Uh, you can define your own. Uh, now I'm just uh, giving uh, giving it name as IMDB auth rule. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to create a, a role in this. Uh, within the role, we need to add an inline policy that actually uh, relates to the user. Uh, uh, like uh, we we going to use in the uh, PG4 admin. So like uh, we are going to I am create a uh, RDS IAM admin. So this user we going to use in our IAM policy. And this new user must need to have the privileges to can log in, create roles, create databases, uh, and also in the security, uh, sorry, uh, memberships, we need to select RDS underscore IAM role. Also, uh, we need to uh, use the RDS underscore super user. So our user will have the superlative privileges uh, in Postgres uh, RDS. Uh, it can create or do any kind of uh, uh, administrative uh, uh, operations within your RDS. So 
so i just created a, a new user uh, named as rds im admin so we're gonna use this uh, uh, we have uh, uh, we have done this now we need to create a im uh, inline policy so for this particular we we just uh, we already define a, a policy so we just need to copy this policy and go to the inline policy json tab and then we just need to paste it uh, here uh, we need to specify our region like uh, we have our rds in us east dash one and here we need to specify our user account id uh, in our case this is this and like uh, we just need to remove those hyphens now we need to uh, have this resource id uh, from where this resource id i can get uh, i can go to the go to my rds console and go to the configuration tab uh, in the configuration tab uh here this is the resource id i need to copy and this resource id uh, need to be used in the iem inline policy so uh and next we need to copy the username rds iem admin rds iem admin and this is it uh, now what our policy says uh, they, the, that uh, our action inline policy action is rds db connect and uh, this uh, particular uh, policy is uh, only allowed for this particular user so review policy and create policy okay uh, i am db auth policy and create policy and we are uh, pretty much done with okay uh, one thing to be noticed uh, that roles is not mean to have uh, access uh, uh, like uh, roles never been uh, applicable to any IEM user uh, to update this what we need to do is we need to update the trust trust relationship of the particular role uh, we need to create uh, like uh, we already have a uh, IEM DB user what we need to do is we need to create a IEM user uh, like uh, IEM DB auth user uh, this is the user we're gonna create like uh, we um, like we can uh, this this is the role we already assigned to like uh, this role has the same policy that we create in the role either we can uh, we can create or assign the role so first we need to do is we need to uh, allow uh, rds full access this is the same policy like RDS full access and I am inline policy if, uh, if I click on the show inline policy so this is the same policy uh, we uh, created for uh, the other user so in that case uh, uh, we have uh, to assign policies uh, like uh, here RDS full ad RDS admin full access and next uh, and review and create user And this is one thing we have done. Now we need to download the IM keys. Let's close this window. Now uh, just copy the username. Uh, now we need to update the role AR uh, role trust relationship. Go to the added trust relationship. Here uh, we need to specify the user ARN. Uh, AWS colon and we need to copy the user ARN which we just created this was our user we can create our ARN from here and then uh, here we need to specify the user ARN so uh, we have uh, policy contains okay we need to update the trust relationship this is one thing we have done uh, and next thing uh, we need to we have created a user so far what we have done we have created a role update the trust relationship uh, we create a user and uh, we also create a IAM policy inline policy 
also we have created uh, IAM user but we never create IAM inline policy for that particular user so what we need to do is we need to add uh, inline policy for this particular user same as the uh, we created for uh, IAM role so we can we can copy and paste it from IAM role as well so we need to copy that particular IAM policy because uh, this is this will be this will be the same policy we need to use in our IAM user so we just need to update that policy over here as well uh, uh, remember this is the RDS uh, user which we create over here so last thing uh, we need to update the policy create policy uh, I am policy or so this is it uh, so far what we have done we have created our uh, I am uh, RDS uh, user and we assign a uh, we assign a role for RDS underscore I am actually that plugins uh, uh, allow uh, RDS user to authent authent authenticate using a uh, session token then we created a role that role has a RDS policy also as well as uh, uh, the inline policy that allows you to connect uh, through IAM and next uh, we have created the user and then this particular user has the same permission as our role has and also we have done update the trust relationship between the uh, for that particular role so uh, we, uh, we updated our trust relationship for IAM user and then what we need to do is we need to configure the uh, IAM credentials so in uh, we already uh, we are assuming that you already configured uh, install AWS CLI in your environment so what we need to do is Uh, AWS configure minus minus profile uh, I am auth user specify the key secret key default region is us dash east dash one and output would be text now uh, what I need to do I need to export the profile AWS underscore profile is equal to the same name that I created over here so uh, so far we have done everything but we just need to uh, create a STS token uh, which we can copy the command from uh, here like uh, we have done till here now we need to do step 9 uh, at here we need to generate a token sorry uh, we need to update the DB user uh, like uh, what would be the word uh, what is the word DB user RDS IAM admin here we need to update our user RDS IAM admin next we need to update uh, the server or RDS RDS URL which we can get it from here connectivity and security uh, this is our RDS endpoint and this command which actually what is doing it's setting up the uh, PG password and it's generating the RDS token against the host name of uh, RDS IAM da, 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 da. and port is this and user is this and region is this and uh, next thing the last thing which we need to do is we need to connect uh, we need to download the SSL certificate uh, we need to download the SSL certificate here is the SSL certificate command okay we need to download the SSL certificate from this particular command and then now we need to connect uh, to the Postgres host 
Postgres host is uh, like uh, psql minus uh, h and the host name is uh, this and now the port is 5432 and uh, now we need to specify some more details like uh, db name uh, we are using the maintenance db named as uh, postgres uh, and the user uh, the user uh, from uh, postgres so this is our user and now we need to specify uh, the certificate ssl root certificate uh, which is actually this i guess dot two and then uh, we need to enable the ssl mode uh, so we are pretty much done what we need to do is we just need to connect okay sorry uh, I have put a two double quotation so you can see I am able to connect uh, with the IMDB credentials I hope this video will help you to uh, build your skills in uh, AWS platform uh, if you like this video, so don't forget to share and subscribe to our channel uh, and I'm gonna upload this particular document in the video's uh, description. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, till then keep learning, keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.